Good morning, everyone. We're back. It is Hollywood Studios Day. I woke up a little after 7, and Kristen and Eugene and Bradley had uh, breakfast reservations, so I didn't rush to make rides because, like, me and mom don't care. I wasn't, like, running out uh, to get here. And I checked at, like, 7.30, and they still had rides. So I got them. <laughs> so we're group 80, so it won't be until later. So, worked out. And I looked as we were driving here, and they still have, you could still join the queue. It is Wednesday, it was about 9.15, still can join it. Heading into the park, and it is a five minute wait for everything. So, I think it's gonna be a good day. It is 9.45 a.m., here are the crowds. It always looks the most crowded right here, because this is where you enter. But the wait times are not showing any crowds. I think we're gonna head over to Minnie and Mickey's. It said it was a 10 minute wait. It is saying it's a 15 minute wait now. I will time it going in. Why help these good people into the cartoon wall if it's this here Loki motive? It was an eight minute wait to get into the pre-show and now this little line to get on the ride. So if you include the pre-show, probably get yourself hold back to be the last people out of the room so we could spread out a little bit. And so it's a whole room in front of us. So it's a very short wait again. Hope you had a relaxing ride around the park. And thanks for sticking with me. Hi, picnickers! Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. I didn't wrong. film the whole ride this time because I did that the last time I wanted to watch it. Just a little few parts. And it was still cute. I still miss a great movie ride though. But it's a good ride. And with just two bodies in the car, like I was sliding everywhere. Like I was going flying. My breakfast is brought to you by popcorn. And I keep forgetting that you they are not refilling it, they're giving you this. So I had this on my fanny pack and it was like a hassle to get off. I could have just showed it to her. But there and you actually get a little bit more now in the the box as well. Mom went to Starbucks and she's been gone for an awfully long time when there was not a long wait today. So I'm getting a little nervous. I told her to meet up me where we were the other day. I pointed to it. Oh, here she comes. I thought I was gonna have to go to a child, uh, lost child, because she cannot find her way anywhere in these parks, even though she has been coming since a child. But I found her. Here she comes. Mom and I cannot figure out how to get those earrings to stay in our ears, so we're gonna go return them. I'm really bummed because I really liked them, but they will not stay on no matter what we try. down for a bit it just reopened so I'm guessing a lot of people ran to it but it says it's a 15 minute wait it looks like what me and mom waited crowd update it is 12 35 mom and I went to Rosie's all-american cafe aka the little section on sunset next to the tower and we both got the kids meal I got double french fries and a lemonade mom got french fries and a Marina's coming. It looks like it's a steady line, so I gotta put the camera away. So I don't know when I'll see you next. We have made it to Toy Story with the rain. I don't know what scared people off, but everything is a 10 minute wait, even Slinky Dog. So we got our ponchos. Got my ponchos. I'm Let's ready. go on. All right, Slinky Dog is saying a 15 minute wait. Let's see if that's true.
all day one. Bradley and Eugene are going on saucers. It's a 10 minute wait. Slinky Dog was a 15 minute wait. So it said 20, 15 minutes. Glad we got on it, but it did make us nauseous. So, I don't know if we'll do it again. I don't know, I got Time for a Rise of the Resistance, passing by. Time for our Rise of the Resistance at two o'clock, and we were group number 79. So we are heading in. This will be our first time doing it uh, like later in the evening. We were group number two the first time, so we were literally walked right on. So we're gonna see if we have to wait anything in the line. Incoming transmission from Ray. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Good. Shouldn't you be inside prep? Recruits, thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Motu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine Norman I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Commander Paul Dameron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Bakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Are you real team? Ready? That's what it is. The engines are hot. Red 2, we're flying, report. Red 2, check. Red 5, standing by. Engage revolvers and hold on, recruits. All ships, launch. I have been tasked with getting you to Bakara. Red 2, Blue 5, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed on my mark. I want the end of Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. Company, first order of TIE Fighters. We are Authority. Right, Beck? 
Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Right now, stand for his pod, people. Forest State pods down in Sector 4. Verification pending from key command personnel. I should hope so. The second we got off our eyes, all Bradley said was time for Muppets. So it is time for Muppets. Our favorite. Bryce, we walked right on. We had to do a super long queue that we didn't have to do the last time, but we walked right on too. And we got all of the pre show, so it was fan. Outside the building, no. eating and drinking are strictly prohibited. So make sure all drink food and drink are. Woody! What was all the commotion about? Woody ran away. Well, you know what that makes you smarter than us. <laughs> the Muppet Show, 100%. If they ever get rid of it, I would cry tears. But at the end day, make sure you look. Sweetum is out here. The character Sweetum, and he's also in the video. So that mess up. Gets me a little angry. And I stopped for a snack. We got two Mickey pretzels, a popcorn refill, and our ice waters. Crowd update, it is four o'clock and it is empty here. Empty. And it's perfect weather because it's like been overcast and rainy, but it is beautiful out. I did not sweat once today. A little rainy for a little bit of time, but throw on a poncho, keep going. It was empty, perfect day. We did everything we wanted to do. But we are headed back now to the room to relax and freshen up because we have dinner at Vivo tonight. One of my favorites, finally getting it. The one time the bus is not waiting for us and has not been here for 10 minutes is the time that we have reservations and we need to get to City Walk. Bradley was sleeping so we were running behind trying to wake him up and me and Mal were sitting here waiting and it was like bus, 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 bus and now zero buses. No. We have 15 minutes to get to our reservation and then they hold it for 15 minutes So hopefully we get to eat at Vivo. We finally made it to Vivo. We are about five minutes late So I hope they take us. So it does come with a fresh loaf of bread. It is so good here They have oil on the table if you want butter you have to ask for it. So we got the anti-past The pizza And the bread Sausage ragu. Oh, My favorite dish, and so I'm not happy about it. But the waitress was fantastic and kind of put it together for me. So, this is the fried Diablo sauce, but I don't like shrimp with my angel hair. Just finished dinner at Vivo, and they took away my favorite pasta, which was the Arabiata pasta. And I should have looked at the menu before, but I didn't. So, on the way here, I did, and I was very upset. So I told the waitress and they had a fried Diablo, which is like a shrimp dish on the menu. So I was like, hey, is it possible to get that sauce on um, angel hair pasta? She's like, oh, I don't know because they make it, like they pre-make it with the shrimp in it. So I don't know if it would not have the shrimp in it. And she worked some magic and they made it for me. So it was delicious. Uh, shout out for that. Uh, so if there's something you want, just ask. They do their best. Like at first she was like, no, I don't think I can. And I was like, no worries. And then she was able to, to do it. Mine was delicious. Uh, very nice spice to it. I love my angel hair. The appetizers are great here. You get a lot for the price of the antipas. And it's always delicious. How was yours? It was good. I wasn't that hungry. So uh, but I've gotten that before. And it's a nice light sauce. And uh, so, four shrimps I think I got, and a little bit of pasta. Yeah, I would say their portions here are on the smaller side, but maybe that's just like Jersey, you get like a ton of pasta. Uh, but I think their prices compare, like so like the fried Diablo, when I was looking at that, that was $22 for a fish dish, when like that would cost a lot. By a, like so, I think it's smaller portions, but the perfect amount like I'm full uh, and like the prices are cheaper it's not like an insane price for a fish dish here 
And just like that, another day has come to an end. A uh, crazy day because everything was absolutely empty. I woke up after the rise of the resistance time and I just happened to check at like 7.20, 7.30, I don't remember, uh, for boarding group and I was able to get it. I think I got one of the last in the morning group and then while we were there, after one, you saw that you could join at any time. I did click it because I was just curious and it said we already used our virtual queue for the day so if you ride it once, you can't ride it again. So just a heads up because, good thing I knew that because dad's been working, so I would have like tried again for him and would have been sad that we already used one. So just a heads up. We got the full pre-show which made it a thousand times better. Now I knew what was happening. The pre-show was super good, super cool. Glad we finally got to see that. And everything was a walk on. We could have easily did the entire park. We did everything we wanted to. A little bit of rain, but that was good because it was so beautiful out today. Didn't sweat. I'm literally in a sweatshirt right now coming back from dinner. It was awesome. And then we had dinner at Vivo and I enjoyed my pasta. I love pasta, I love Vivo. So it was a good day. And with that, I say, good night everyone.